Hey, I'm James from J Technology, and we're back here at CES 2014 at the Panasonic booth. We have uh, Douglas Morandi. He is the uh, channel manager for Panasonic, and he's going to go over some of the new products on the CCTV, HD CCTV cameras, and this new FacePro uh, software. Um, Douglas? Okay, thank you, James. Um, for 2014, Panasonic is introducing new equipment. One of the things we're inducing is our Face Pro face detection software. What that basically means is it's a uh, visual overlay to our existing software, and as such, it enhances the security of your facility. What it does is it provides the camera shown above here, which are the eyes, if you will, into the brains of the equipment. And traditionally, what you've got is the camera is picking up the video. But how do you interpret that video coming in? How do you interpret all that data coming in at the same time? And how do you make it user friendly? What we figured out is that we can provide some low cost and in some cases free video analytics to our customers. It's going to enhance not only their security, but their ease of use and the ability to use it. So with that being said, I'll run you through a quick demo. <clears throat> Using the camera shown above here, these are all HD CCTV cameras. You have 720p cameras and 1080p, which is a three megapixel camera. We also sell some XVGA cameras, a little lower resolution, but still IP. The cameras you see at the top are HD cameras in a more box configuration, useful if a, uh, if a facility would like a very obvious camera. These down here, a little more low-key, and this is an outdoor camera. So with that being said, these two cameras on the bottom are currently picking up the video of everyone walking by and interpreting it down here. You can see all the numerous faces of people that have stopped by over the past four days. So if I go over here and click, on this gentleman, I'm going to hit play the video, and this gentleman's video is going to come up here. He was in frame for approximately 45 seconds. You get a nice, good, clean facial image of him. In a retail situation or a business setting, generally speaking, these are going to be people visiting your facility, clients, customers, other employees, coworkers, and you're not going to be terribly concerned because they're going to be, you know, acting under the law. If this is a retail situation, this gentleman was... Uh, was a thief and you figured it out later on and maybe you have what his name is, you can go in here, right click again, and you're going to register this face. You can put his name in here, his age, his gender, and make some remarks there. The remarks may be something like, the next time this gentleman comes in the store, please escort him out. Some, some all sorts of little tips that you could put in there. Uh, it could be something uh, related to HR as well. Okay, he's allowed in certain areas of the building, but not these areas, okay? You're gonna click okay. So, the next time this gentleman, since he's been flagged, the next time he comes in your building, you're gonna get an alarm notification that's gonna pop up on your screen. As such, his picture will also pop up here, letting us know that he's entered the building with the appropriate remarks for that security director or for that receptionist to follow. Okay, so it kind of takes the guesswork out of who's coming in your building, who the people are, and you're able to, to keep better crowd control, if you will, which of course enhances your security. Now, everything is useful here, but you also want to record it for future use, okay? In the event that maybe he is a thief and you want to get it off to the police department, everything is recording on a network video recorder located down here below. You can record either 16, 32, or 64 channels, cameras and the video can be saved however long you want depending on your hard drive size. Okay, so it's very easy not only to email a clip to the police department, but to archive it later on to look for patterns and trends and things like that to enhance your security. Um, we are adding more video analytics tools as time goes on, but these are the ones we have currently. We also have other video analytics such as Object Left Behind in the event that you've got a lobby area and perhaps someone leaves a briefcase inadvertently. Most of the time it's just a briefcase, but it could be something else, and you want to know that. Um, we also have a PEEP accounting function. We have other analytics that we built into our cameras and more on the way. So the year for uh, the year 2014 and beyond are, are big years for not only security, uh, they're big years for Panasonic and how we can enhance uh, uh, a company's security overall. So, so with uh, FacePro, this can run off any uh, operating system? It can run off any uh, operating system. Generally speaking, people are going to use Windows, though, and most corporations. They're going to put it on a dedicated security server, or a, a smaller company that may be starting off, maybe just use a, uh, a couple PCs or, or a small server they design. So. And to maximize the FacePro software, it's recommended to get an HD uh, camera? 
It is, absolutely. What I tell people, if you're going to use it for its true intended purpose, at least use a 720p camera. I'd prefer spending a couple hundred dollars more and move up to 1080p. The better facial recognition image that you can get, the better chance that the police are going to have prosecuting that person later on. So I tell people, look, you know, in certain areas, maybe you can get by with a little less resolution cameras in certain areas, hallways and such. But if you're going to be using it for its intended purpose, let's get a good quality 3 megapixel HD camera. And uh, price on the software, uh, cameras, and availability? Okay. I'll start with availability first of all. Availability is right away. Um, this is shipping right now. Uh, price in the software is based on where you're going to purchase it from, how it's installed, uh, how many users, all those type of things. I can tell you just as a, as a generality, it's very inexpensive, <clears throat> especially compared to our competitors. Uh, cameras themselves are going to range from anywhere from $500 to uh, $2,000 and up for HD cameras, depending on the type of use, whether you're talking about a small housing or a large outdoor housing or even a big motorized hand tilt zoom camera. So there's a lot of options for people. Uh, our dedicated team of dealers and integrators nationwide can do uh, site assessments for an individual company to say, okay, what are your needs in certain areas? What are you looking to do? What aren't you looking to do? And can custom design a system based on somebody's exact needs. So. Well, thank you, Douglas. Thank you very much. I appreciate the time today.